I'm so sorry I brought Holt back here. I had no idea you were doing this whole diehard thing. Man, you really got the hair exactly right. Did you contact the onset hairstylist, Paul Abascal? No, it's a wig. Oh, that's cool too. So here's what I'm thinking. We let Holt go. I have sex with Holly Gennaro, but hotter. The squad handles the captain or disbands whatever. We have sex again. Okay, stop suggesting that. We need to stay focused. Right. Holt is fragile. We need to be gentle, okay? Just follow my lead. With pleasure. I love the view. I'm sorry, this outfit is driving me insane. Hello, sir. Sorry again for tying you spread eagle on the bed. Apology not accepted. Look, I know you're upset, but this isn't your last chance to become commissioner. John Kelly's old. He's not going to be in office forever. True, but he'll just be replaced by another mediocre old white man. Nothing will ever change. All right. Well, what about all your goals for the 9-9? You still have so much left to accomplish. Wrong. I've accomplished everything that I set out to do. I wanted to reduce crime, and I did. There's no crime in Brooklyn anymore. Seems like a bit of a stretch. What about improving community relations? Done. Everyone loves the police. It's embarrassing. Way off. All right, Em, step aside. I got this. Captain, what about the Halloween heist? I'll just come in and win it and then go back to my house. Damn it. I'm out. Jake. All right, fine. Sir, do you know why I love coming to work? Because there's a bumper pool table in the break room. Yes, obviously, I love the bumper pool table. But do you want to know another reason why? You. You've made me a better cop. You've made me a better person. I've learned so much from you. So you can't quit because I need you. Oh, please. How selfish. What? That little speech you just gave. It was all about you and what you need. How unbelievably selfish. OK, well, I don't want to get mad right now because I know Amy's worried about you. So. Ah, no, screw that noise. How dare you call Jake selfish? He just wasted his entire honeymoon trying to take care of you while you wallowed in your misery like a little baby. Well, that seems a little harsh. Oh, does it? I don't give a hoot. Oh, damn. For the last five years, all I've done is give a hoot about you and what you think. Gave a hoot about you as a boss. Gave a hoot about you as a mentor. I gave a hoot about you as a friend. She gave so many hoots. Not anymore. After the way you've acted and what you just said to Jake, I don't give a hoot what you think. And I really don't give a hoot if you decide to quit the NYPD. So do it. I'm all out of hoots. I'm hootless. Now, what I want to say Jake. is... Coming, Holly Gennaro. 